So now we are in downtown Saugatuck. No, we're not in Saugatuck. <laughs> no, South Haven. South Haven. So we're walking downtown South Haven right now, waiting for it to get a little darker and sunset, and it's been spotty rain off and on all day. So hopefully this will work out for us for the photos of the lighthouse. I planned a trip to South Haven, Michigan to photograph the setting sun and the setting moon over the beautiful South Haven Lighthouse. But there were some challenges to overcome. Using photo pills, I was able to determine the exact location to capture the drama, not only of the setting sun, but also of the setting moon. To get that dramatic large moon in the photo, I'm gonna need a long lens that will effectively compress that distance between the lighthouse and the moon, making the moon appear larger in the sky as compared to the lighthouse. The longest lens I currently have in my arsenal is this vintage Olympus 200mm f4. Armed with my mirrorless Fujifilm X-S10 and the vintage Olympus Zuiko 200mm lens, Michelle and I set off for the west coast of Michigan, and I wondered, would this 40-year-old lens for film cameras be sharp enough in this digital era? So we're walking downtown South Haven right now, waiting for it to get a little darker and sunset, and it's been spotty rain off and on all day. So hopefully this will work out for us for the photos of the lighthouse. I've set up at the marina here in South Haven to photograph the lighthouse. And I could say it's because I'm using this long lens and because I wanted to try out this vintage Olympus 200 millimeter lens. But the real reason is that we're undercover here and protected from the elements. It's raining off and on. It's an absolutely miserable day but there's incredible swells out on Lake Michigan that should make for some pretty dramatic photos of the lighthouse. It's super windy and rainy here. We're at South Haven Lighthouse and Jim is trying to get some shots. Um, the waves are crazy, like huge waves. Whitecaps, it keeps going between sun and rain. In the original planning of this trip, there was gonna be a sunset and followed directly by the moon setting. It's a sliver moon setting right behind. And I thought that would be a really dramatic photograph. With all the cloud cover we have today, I don't think we're gonna be having any type of a moon photograph this evening. insanely windy here and just I, I don't even know if the bike's gonna pick this up but look at this look at what's going on back here this is amazing
soaked by the rain and the waves, we headed back to our Airbnb. The next morning, we awoke to a beautiful sunshiny day, and Michelle and I decided on a whim to drive north to Grand Haven to photograph the sister lighthouse there. And join us for that video. The link is on the screen.